Hello everybody, I wanted to post a clip on this jig that I made and what this is for is for dressing the stones on a tool grinder. If you've watched the video on my tool grinder review and modifications, you know, you may already know what this is actually for. But I'm going to give a rundown on this just to kind of show you how to make one. You know, these may be available, I didn't even look. I just kind of designed it out of my head with rough measurements and built it on the fly. So I don't really have any measurements on this, but it's fairly self-explanatory and I will explain to you, you know, kind of how I made it and what its purpose is. I'll actually show you the purpose and how to use it. Uh, what this basically does is hold a diamond pointed dressing tool and there is a hole that has been drilled and reamed right here to allow this to slide in and out. And if you'll notice, there are two thumb wheels on here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, these I actually made out of stainless steel that I had laying around and put a knurl on them and cut the threads. And the one on the top is used to actually bind down and lock the cutter where it is. Uh, the one on the back is for doing fine adjustments to actually push it out a little bit to take a little bit more off the stone. So what you would do is loosen this one up and turn the other one and hopefully you can see this. It's actually turning the diamond dresser out. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. Remove one of my thumb screws. And obviously you can see this one's quite long and that is its purpose to be able to push this in and out of that reamed hole. And the other one obviously is shorter and it is the locking mechanism. So I'll set these aside and if you make one of these it's going to be, you know, the size of this hole is going to be governed by whatever your OD is on the, the diamond dresser. Uh, this one, just by looking at it, I believe might be about a three-eighths of an inch. You know, they still have, you know, they're not all that expensive. I just happened to pick a whole lot of these up in a, a, an auction that I purchased. Uh, so, moving into the block here, this is just a piece of 12L14 steel I had laying around. Aluminum will suffice, anything. It doesn't even necessarily need to be this long. The longer the better for stability, but if you'll note, what I had done was actually milled a key slot in here. Now you don't have to mill this, I mean you can just grab a piece of flat stock and countersink a couple holes and bolt one to it. Uh, I just went ahead and did it this way because I was there and I pretty much had my tooling set up. So what this key does is actually ride in the miter slot on the grinder and that will allow me to dress the wheel perpendicular to that miter slot. So to get these measurements I just measured the miter slot. I think I took off maybe a thousandths to give it you know give it enough to slide through there easily without binding up. Uh, so that's basically the tool in a nutshell. So I'm going to put it back together and I'm going to uh, put it on the tool grinder and show you the process. I'm not actually going to dress my wheel because the wheel is already dressed. So I will get set up for that, get back with you, and you can make one of these yourself. Now, I don't know if I mentioned that, you know, I don't know if these are available for purchase, these types of uh, jigs here. They may be, but since I had some stuff laying around, probably took me, you know, half hour to an hour and I made my own. And for that, with just some scraps laying around, you know, the cost, my time's cheap, because I'm a hobbyist. So, with that being said, I'll get positioned, and I'll show you how to use this. Okay, well here we are at the tool grinder, and I have the jig in place. As you can see, it runs in the miter slot quite nicely. It's nice and snug. So basically what you're going to want to do with this to dress this wheel flat is bring, turn on your grinder of course, and make sure you have some clearance and bring the tool 
I'm just going to do a light drag on this thumb wheel and you are going to slowly push that cutter out until you make contact with the wheel. There you go. So once you make contact with the wheel, just back out, go ahead and lock it down, make a slow controlled pass across here, in and then come back out and loosen this up slightly if your wheel is not dressed all the way take just a small a bit more lock it down and do the same thing again now one thing I do want to note is when you are dressing wheels uh, especially with a diamond pointed dresser you do not want to come straight into the wheel you do not want to come in with it angled upwards you want to angle downwards that's the proper way to dress the wheel so what I've done is elevated the table to point downwards as far as the travel will take it I'm assuming that's between probably 10 degrees to 15 degrees really 15 is probably optimum of where you want to come in to dress the stone so by doing that taking very very light passes across just enough to get your wheel dressed straight free up a new cutting surface that's the way you're going to do it that's what this is intended for and this is the way it works so do this and you'll have a nice flat wheel to grind on that is perfectly perpendicular or parallel I'm sorry to the miter slot I hope you enjoyed it good luck